<clears throat> What's up, bitches? It's here, Art La Cruz, with yet another review. This time I'm doing. Oh, wait. <laughs> Blooper. <laughs> Yo, I'm not doing Jacob's Ladder. You know, I haven't done that yet. I'm doing uh, the first Terminator. Yeah. So let's get the paperwork out of the way. You all should know this by now. James Cameron, writer and director, trilogy of films. You know, I only really like the first the first two. The three was all okay and the fourth one was like, yeah. Whatever. The AP was Adam Greensburg. It was done in nineteen eighty four. And it's about uh these two people that come from the future. One is a Terminator and one is uh Trying to Protect. Sarah Connor, which is just an, an everyday waitress in in L.A. in a diner, and you get stalked by this Terminator, Arnold Schwarzenegger's character. If you haven't seen this by now, then fuck you. All right, fuck you. Because come on, man, we're talking about fucking Terminator, man. You haven't seen this movie yet. You've been living under a rock for your whole life, dude, because you don't know what you what you have missed. The second one's a little better, obviously, but it's because of the time that this one was done. And there's more money, so it's a bigger, block, you know, summer blockbuster. But the first one, for, for the time that it was made, I'm very curious how much I actually spent on this. And I'm going to take off the, <laughs> the sticker because that shit pisses me off. I don't know if it's like ADD. It's like some ADD shit. But, um, I hate this little sticker that they put, and the thing just turned off. But, uh, as I take this off, bought this pretty used in Un Pulguero for like $3, $3, $4. Saw it, took my chance. I was gonna get, uh, Twilight Princess. Smash Brothers Melee, I think it was called. I think that's what the uh, Wii Smash Bros. Smash Brothers game is called. And some other game, but someone bought it before. So I decided to get nine Terminator. Wait, nine Terminator and the first Matrix, which I've already reviewed the, the Matrix trilogy. Now I'm going to review. Um, well, not really. Let's see. I've also done the Robocop trilogy. So I've done the Matrix trilogy and the Robocop trilogy. Now I'm working myself up to do the Terminator trilogy. Well, there's four movies, so now it's there's four. So I don't know what, what four is. Quad? Is that, what, is that what you'd call four? So it's a pretty good film. Done in 1984. Great action. A lot of uh, animatronics for the times. Great makeup effects. Great performances, great acting, love the shot selection, love just everything about it, dude. I think it still holds up, even though it's away from 1984. I think it's still, it's still pretty, obviously it wouldn't be able to compete nowadays with the stuff they have now. But it can, it would, it would be a nice little indie film. Definitely, cult film. Not as big as uh, Terminator 2, Judgment Day, and I don't know what the, the Terminator 3 is called. And 4, Salvation. But this is one of one of Arnold Schwarzenegger's, you know, many great classics, man. I mean, James Cameron's a man, bro. He did The Abyss, Avatar, Titanic. Uh, I forget the uh, the ocean one, or the alien. The Abyss. Oh, I said it, The Abyss. So he's done over the years. He's done some pretty pretty good films, man. James Cameron knows what he's doing. Really great, great accomplished filmmaker. One of the best filmmakers in, uh, in my opinion, in the last couple of, the last two decades. Not just his film, though, he's involved in all kinds of things, so he's really out there. Really involved in pushing technology and, and all kinds of human discovery, things of discovery forward. You know, things with the ocean, stars, outer space and shit. All kinds of, that thing we did with Avatar, those special cameras, man. James Cameron does those type of things. You don't see any other filmmaker advancing technology as, as, as much as he does. So, 
that's all I'd say about the first Terminator. If you haven't seen it by now, bro, there's something wrong with you. Kick yourself in the head three times. And see the film. I started it all. This is just a special edition. So it only has a couple of things, not too much stuff, just like, you know, the documentary, the interviews, James Cameron, Terminator, a retrospective, a documentary, that's all it really has, Terminated, so it's called, some deleted scenes, which I haven't seen, probably watch it some other time, original storyboards, trailers, TV spots, and more, but there's not a lot, it's just, you know, it's a dual, dual layer disc, so there's stuff on the second side. This would have, but it's cool how the, the box, you can't really see it here. You can kind of see it, how it's made of such like paper. And Arnold Schwarzenegger, like, does like a little glowing thing. Looks cool as shit, dude. Really cool box art. So this one definitely belongs on the stack. For our next review, I will. I've been saying it for a while, but I've been dying to see it, just haven't gotten around to it yet. Too many movies to watch this summer, too many TV shows that are in season. I will review nine. So look out for that one, and I will talk to you bitches later. It's down to watching True Blood. Peace!